So are you sometimes struggling to find the motivation to go out to shoot? Or maybe you're good at finding excuses for yourself to stay home. I don't have energy, I don't have time or any exciting piece of gear. Or you could also be always waiting for the perfect weather, for the perfect light to go out and take photos. Don't worry about that, you're not alone and I guess we've all been there sometime in our photography journey, if not many times actually. If I'm stepping into this uh, topic today, it's because this is exactly what I felt during my last week of my one month long trip to uh, Switzerland. I told you in previous videos that I was uh, spending one month in Europe but the priority for this trip was to meet uh, family and friends and the uh, YouTube and my photography came after that. But still like one week or 10 days before coming back to Japan I had plenty of time to do some photography but somehow I found myself for three days in a row just waiting for planet to align, waiting to feel motivated, waiting for the perfect weather or perfect light. After three days of no photography, uh, seeing the clock ticking and realizing that I missed already too many opportunities to photograph my home country. We are not reinventing the wheel today, but I'll tell you how using a calendar will serve as a little kick in the butt to uh, go out and shoot. You will be able to turn down all these uh, idealistic scenarios that you made up in your head and actually go out and do something real. The way I used my calendar was pretty simple. I first identified where I already had some commitments, uh, things to do, plan to meet some family or friends. Then it becomes easier to see where you have actually some free time and you can start placing some blocks of time dedicated to photography. Once that's done and the day with the photography time block comes, you don't negotiate with yourself anymore. You don't look at the weather forecast, you don't look through the window to see how the light is looking that day. You just get ready and step out the door. Putting an entry in my calendar, at least for me, works so well at creating a commitment for myself to do something. It's just like in my head this time was already allocated to photography or any other thing I plan to do during that time frame. Since you have a better vision of how your time will be allocated during that day, you also know that you will have plenty of time to do other things. So when the time will come to do some photography, it will not be competing in your head against other activities you could do during that time frame. I quit my standard office job a bit more than two years ago, and since that time I did uh, different things, but all of them required me to be more organized with my time, since I didn't have any work commitment for eight or nine hours during uh, the middle of the day. And using a calendar was really a game changer. It really helped me to stay productive, stay organized, and keep track of everything I did during the last few days to be happy about myself and during the time I didn't use my calendar I felt like my schedule was just all over the place and everything my whole routine was collapsing a little bit So if we are talking about the benefits of allocating some time to photography with the help of a calendar, there are plenty of them, but I want to mention four today. First is really simple, you will actually go out and shoot because regardless of your schedule and how many photography sessions you can fit within one week, within one month, I am very confident in saying that in any case, it will be more photography session than before. And what happens when you shoot more is that you will keep practicing your skill on a regular basis 
train your eye to see compositions, train your ability to read the room and anticipate people's actions to have more interesting street photos. You will also become more used to your camera, so in the end it will not go in the way anymore. Over time it will become the extension of your arm and you will be able to operate the camera more by instinct to have faster reaction time. All of these are super important to master because when finally all the plans are aligned and you're lucky to be out shooting in those perfect conditions, you will be faster, you will be more efficient and overall you would be better at making the most out of this super rare occasion. Second, if you actually committed and you're out shooting, you also expose yourself to maybe being lucky and a potential complete turnaround of the shooting conditions. In some areas of the world it can be more likely, but still everywhere you can have sudden changes of weather or anything that was not really planned that can transform the shooting conditions. The only way to shoot during those times is to have committed previously and being already out in the field or in the streets when it happens. Third, you will be pushed outside of your comfort zone. Let's say your thing is to shoot only at night during moody rainy days. Shooting in bright daylight at midday will be a big challenge, forcing you to think a little bit outside the box. It can be discouraging at first, but I am sure that if you persevere, you can actually start to enjoy shooting at those times too. And in the end, it will be a very beneficial thing for you to become a more complete, uh, better photographer. You will be more skillful overall, you will be more flexible and creative to be able to handle with all sorts of shooting scenarios. If you plan to make photography a thing to earn money, it will be very important to be able to adapt to all sorts of conditions because unless you shoot exclusively in studios, you won't be able to uh, control your environment most of the time actually. And to wrap everything up a little bit, you will gain experience and with that you will become more confident in your skills. You will also give yourself more opportunity and more chance to get portfolio worthy photographs. I'm sure that if we could know everything that led to some of the most popular photos in history would be quite surprised. I am pretty sure that they are not the results of a photographer waiting to shoot only in perfect conditions. They just went out and they did not wait to be lucky. They created their own luck. hope it didn't sound too much like a self-development video but I am a strong believer that even in those more artistic worlds things like discipline and repeated efforts are really key to become a better artist and give yourself the chance to create beautiful artworks. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.